To understand how the absence of the dystrophin protein can cause Duchenne muscular dystrophy or DMD, it is important to understand how the protein functions. The DMD gene is the largest gene in the human genome, and it encodes a very large protein that is located in the muscle fiber cytoplasm. The dystrophin protein's main function is to link the contractile element of the muscle fiber, or the actin, to a large complex of proteins that span the sarcolemma, a specialized membrane that surrounds the muscle fiber. Dystrophin acts like a shock absorber, helping to protect the sarcolemma from contraction-induced injury. In the absence of dystrophin, repetitive contractions damage the muscle fiber, which leaks creatine kinase and other intracellular components into the extracellular space. Without dystrophin, healthy muscle becomes progressively and irreparably damaged. The injured muscle tissue is replaced by scar tissue, which leads over time to the weakness and progressive decline in motor function seen in patients with DMD. The dystrophin gene consists of 79 exons. These encode portions of the protein that are critical to the function of dystrophin and the health of the muscle. It is very helpful to think of the 79 exons in terms of train cars that are connected. When all 79 exons, or all 79 train cars, are present, they comprise the normal dystrophin gene. The vast majority of mutations in the dystrophin gene involve whole exon deletions or multiple contiguous exon deletions. That is, single or multiple train cars are deleted from the gene. During transcription, each exon can only connect to certain other exons. Not all exons are compatible to each other. This concept describes the reading frame rule. Mutations that disrupt the reading frame are termed frame shift mutations. When the reading frame has been disrupted, translation yields only truncated, unstable dystrophin, or essentially no protein at all, and results in DMD. Mutations that do not disrupt the reading frame are termed in-frame mutations. Translation of these exons allow muscle cells to make small amounts of partially functional protein leading to Becker muscular dystrophy, which is milder than DMD. Importantly, however, the reading frame rule applies to about 90% of the cases. There are exceptions to the rule. For example, patients with in-frame mutations may present with DMD, and patients with out-of-frame mutations may present with Becker muscular dystrophy. In such cases, a muscle biopsy may be needed to quantify the amount of dystrophin.